I just want to come and speak God's word in your life. And if I can have the privilege, I would love to pray for you. And this dear woman sat across my desk in my office. And when she prayed for me, I prayed for her. And through the course of things we see in each other at events, she will always give me a word from the Lord. And I know she gives so many people words. She thought, and she was saying the same thing when she said to me. She was in her prayer. She said, God has got, it would be a little different every time, but it was in the same vein. She said, you're getting ready to go in an adventure that you've never been before. Yes. But God says, with you, blah, 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 that. And every time, it just, she didn't know I was being like Mary. I just stay, stay quiet and ponder it in my heart. <laughs> that woman, Miss Pat Seth. She's a blessing to the whole blessing to the minority community and the whole community at large. Miss Sister Pat Seth. God bless you. And another woman that have been from the first day that we had our assembly, this woman showed up on a Saturday morning, had muffins, had everything, had the decoration of what you see tonight, she done tonight. She's been a great friend to the Testament Northern Community Commission from the beginning. That is no other than Miss, my sister, Heather Stone. Sweet woman. Uh, thank God for uh, Sharon, David, and Britt for being supporters of this event. But Pat was the midwife, Sharon was the deliverer. <laughs> Along with my dear sister, that I had the privilege of doing her eulogy. She called me a year before she passed away. And she said, uh, uh, my, uh, her name is Rosalie, Rosalie Heron. 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 When I pastored my first church way back, Rosalie came to visit my church. And, and we went a few years without seeing each other, but then we started that crossing path. She said, I want you to do my eulogy because no other pastor knows me better than you. And she was such a sweetheart. And, and I, at a memorial service, I said, if Mother Rosalie was in the African American church, she would be known as Mother <laughs> Rosalie Howard. Because the mother in the black church would fight for her pastor. And my mother had to mention it. So she, my mother was my biggest fan. And Rosalie didn't take the place of my mother, but she became there being a fan of mine. Showing up where I was going, I miss her dear soul, and so I done her eulogy. It was a blessing. Now, so this next individual we want to give an award to. <laughs> this individual has been. Everybody got to know who he is while I begin to talk. This individual has been to Iraq three times, preaching and teaching constitutional law. Been to Sudan three times, preaching and teaching, forming the 12 water wells. Uganda four times, preaching, teaching, forming eight water wells. Been to Rwanda, preaching one time. Nepal, Mexico five times, preaching. Nicaragua, Salvador, Guatemala, preaching. Ireland, preaching, and child, he was there teaching constitutional law. 
This man, grandparents, he is blacks from the Klan back in the 1920s. So when people come to tell me and talk bad about white folk, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and one time I was at work and these black guys were standing around me. Man, they were popping out. They said, man, white man ain't going to let you do nothing. White man this. And white man that. And white man this. And I stood up. I said, if God be for me. Yes. I said, no white man, no black man, yes. no and a red man, nobody can be against me. Yeah. And this guy, I've never seen this guy act like this before, me, and he didn't do it, never again. Yeah. It was like the devil rose up in him, and he jumped up off his feet. He said, blank, the, he said, when the revolution comes, because a lot of black folks think there is going to be a revolution <laughs> between the blacks and the white, guess what? I'm not fighting that. <laughs> He said, when the revolution come, he said, I'm coming after your black blanket and blank. I stood my ground again. I said, if God be for me. Right. It was white folk that fought along with black people for freedom. Before the Civil War, it was white and blacks, uh, 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 abolitionists, yes, fighting for freedom. Yes, Wasn't the white man that invented slavery? The United States did not invent, invent slavery. And so, I want to have the privilege of honor his memory. Will y'all, uh, will you go over there? You stand right in front of Brother Sam. This is going to be our first stand on this side. <laughs> <laughs> on this side. No hazing. This is going to be our, you, this is gonna, you can turn this away. This is going to be our first Freedom Award from the Texas Minority Coalition. Freedom Award goes to the Honorable Judge Sam Griffin. To his delegation to minority communities, not just local, but globally. Global. Thank you. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. Amen. We wanted to surprise him with that. <laughs> Glory to God. Man, God is good. And this nation is gonna, gonna survive because of godly people. And when the godly people is in authority, the nation rejoice. And when wicked people bear rule, the nation mourn. How many of y'all know we got some rejoicing days ahead of us? Because the more godly people we got too many people in the pulpit need to be in the public square. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And so we thank God. We're going to get ready. want to ask Brother Guillory to come again, Brother Sam, the boy. We're going to pray for this man of God. He, he's, he's been a minister ordained for six years. Guillory. His son is with him, a professional political biographer. That does all this video. This man, his political biography is his day job. It's not a side gig, it's his day job. And so we're going to pray. And next, though, when you come, we're going to pray over Pastor, pray for the health and strength on his life. We had dinner with him last night. We've been running him pretty good today. <laughs> <laughs> Amen.
Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Give you the honor. Yes. Thank you for this man of God that has came out to be in Texas on this these couple of days. Father, we ask you to give him strength. Strength his body from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. Father, have your way in his life. Continue to move in his life like he'd never seen you move before. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, rest upon him. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We would like to make an announcement because this is uh, this is our partners in Dallas, Texas. Ms. Magna Witt, will you stand again? The minority group. This Friday night up in Allen, Texas, be sure to grab you a flyer. But well, uh, Dr. C.L. Bryant will be at McKinney, Texas uh, that Friday night, this coming Friday, November the 1st, at McKinney, Texas. And then um, the month, uh, on Saturday at the Cottonwood Creek Church, November the 2nd, beginning at 8 o'clock, Pastor Rafael Cruz, Woo! Raphael, Raphael Cruz. Ron Mendoza, David J. Harris, uh, Yoram Solomon, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce this or like these other names, but our good friend from Tyler, Texas, Tristan Ferguson, yeah. is going to be there. Uh, Tristan and I, we know we are planning to be there that Friday and be there the whole weekend to be with the minority engagement group. Man, so we are coming to the close of this outstanding. Oh yeah, I forgot to. Uh, uh, this, all right. These are, these people. Okay, bring it. They are, we are not liberal. We're not liberal. Bring it. I know it's not as special as the pledges gift, but we just want to give this to you. Oh. <laughs> All right, thank you. And I have a gift for you as well. Oh, God. It's a $1,000 from Donald Trump. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you. We, we just tell the people who y'all are and what y'all do. Uh, we're the Real Not, we're Not Liberals show. We're on Facebook and um, I am the Republicans' women's advocate. We do exist. We're yes. not all Democrats. We fight for women's rights, even those little women that are in the belly. Okay? And this is my husband, Elena. He is the legal immigrant guy. Yeah. Well, I came from a former socialist country uh, 30 years ago, and I kind of get offended when everybody accepts uh, the label that you feel are. Immigrant, you are a Democrat. I've been labeled many times, so I have to make myself clear. I'm not a liberal, so we're going to show about it. Thank you very much. We're not liberals, and come to Facebook and find our page, and we'll be doing our show. We had to kind of ease down a little bit. Uh, Martin Zuckerberg was kind of uh, Stop on stepping on our page a little bit, but we're going to step back up. When the season, the campaign season starts up, we're going to be rolling again, and we're not PC, so beware. <laughs> beware. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stanley, for putting this together, and hope to enjoy you a little. Thank you, I will. Okay. Thank Don't you. spend that money everywhere. <laughs> because we're going to win, and we're going to keep on winning. All right. We're going to win some more. All right. Mm -hmm. Once again, we want to thank each of you on your table. You were blessed to be here with that pan of dime, many of you, because of the sponsor that sponsored your table. Well, if you would kindly, there's envelopes on the table, if you would like to leave a gift. The Tesla Minority Organization is a nonpartisan political group organization. Um, 
We are not, uh, you, your gift is not tax deductible. I want to let you know that up front. But if you will be gracious and kind enough to leave a token of love, but we can continue to do the work of 2020 coming in the, what we have in store for us in 2020. And also, we will be, um, there's membership application. If you would like to become a member of the Texas Minority Coalition, please sign up to be a member. Ms. Dietrich is gonna be at our table out there. And uh, if you like to fill it out now and, and say you wanna be part of this movement of uh, Texas Minority Coalition, and Roy is helping us, we're gonna span Texas wide. And we hope to go into other states and it'll be a Louisiana Minority Coalition. It'll be a Oklahoma Minority Coalition. I learned something from my good friend of Shaffer Ford. We have the Empowerment uh, CBC. And anytime we have a festival, a lot of time he put Texas on it. Because nothing as big as Texas. And then you claim Texas. Then you got the whole state, nobody else. We like the Texas African American Museum. There is no Texas African American Museum but our museum. And so, so I thought that was pretty good how he do that. So, but anyway, will you please fill out the application. Come get on our mailing list, email list, so we can send you emails, let you know what's going on, what's happening. You need to be involved. One of the involvements that you need to be is on the grassroots, on the ground floor level. Yeah. And I didn't understand that until I got involved that the battle is at the local level the, at, to the state level to affect the national level. So get involved uh, with what we are doing and get plugged in the other organization. We have our meetings where they don't conflict with other organizations that uh, connect this uh, some kind of way with us. And so we thank you again tonight for everything, for showing up. You put on a spectacular show tonight by you showing up. Give your hands up a hand. We made history on tonight. We made history. And it can and it will continue to be done where we at Martin Luther King Jr. said that we would be who God called us to be, that we are one, that we don't have to be divided. We can be in unified doing the work of the Lord. Uh, just real briefly here, I have some good friends here. Uh, the raise your hand, Kim and Brother Smith. These people have a ministry that help with people who come out of prison to get jobs and what have you. This coming Saturday, I won't be able to be here with y'all, but they don't. They have a part that's adopted. Go out there and engage. Get engaged with the community. Get to know your community. Crescent Park, and 10 to noon. Food is will be served. Amen. <laughs> so they're doing a great work in the community. And so uh, I think that's all. You have anything? Uh, Alejandro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. We love you. And you, uh, yeah, Brother Sam is going to come and give the benediction prayer. Uh, we love you all. And you, we got to just have some more fellowship after. God bless. Thank you. Uh, if you'd all stand. This has been an amazing evening. I feel like my prayers are almost a purpose. The whole thing has been a, a prayer service and a church service. Most church. We don't have enough church events. We, we do it here because uh, our battle is not physical. It's not the natural. This is a spiritual warfare. We've got to pray without ceasing and then run to the battle. But I, I thank, I thank, I thank y'all for, for coming here. Uh, let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time together. We thank you for the callings in our life and our opportunities to serve, Lord. Lord, in these troubled days, the uh, Satan has not grown stronger, but the church 
and we have grown weaker. Lord, just give us a vision of what we should do, where we should be, where we should be on the, on the walls to defend our country, to defend our way of life. That you've given us freedom and we are we are the ones that are losing it. But Lord, you've called us to the kingdom for such a time as this to contend for the faith. And so we ask you to give us a vision, the power, the encouragement, the, the wisdom to contend for the faith, to win the battle. So that when you come again, you'll find America once again, that shining city upon the hill for what you called us to be, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for, for, for the opportunity. As you said in Galatians, that there's neither, neither male nor female, bond or free, uh, free uh, a, a Jew or Greek. We're all one in Christ. That we're all one in your sight. And you've called us all to the freedom through Christ. And we just thank you for that. We thank you for this time together. We, we ask you to give us... Uh, our wisdom and guidance is where we should go next. We ask you to uh, bless our president. We ask you to bless, uh, bless he and his whole family. We ask you to bless Mike Pence and, and, and Karen. We ask you to, to, to bless Ted Cruz and Louis Gohmert and their wives. And all those people that are continuing for the faith, wherever they are, bless them and let us, as, as Stanley said, we need to back them up so we'll be with them and praying with them. We thank you for this time together. We ask you to be with us, to guard, guide, keep, and protect each one of us until you call us home to be with you. And cross them, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah, that was be sure to take the Constitution with you. So. Thank you. Remember the last sentence of the Declaration. All men are created, we hold these truths to be self evident. All men are created equal. They are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights. But among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Amen. Thank y'all for coming.